Okay, it's a one chair, probably not realistic to buy, or to believe. Think about the source. Is this coming from a reliable source? No. Shadow? No. No? Why not? Um, because there's probably, like, in that one chair, there might not be part of somebody sitting in it the whole time. Okay, why else? Why? Okay. Who made this edgy swivel? Who made the chair? Who makes it? Who remembers from your warm up? Who makes this chair? Edgy Energy does, right? So they're saying that the chair that they made creates enough energy to power an entire school. Think about why would they do that? Why would they tell you that? Yes. They want people to buy their chair, right? If you believe what they have to say, you're probably going to buy one of these chairs. Which means if you buy more chairs, what does Edgy Energy get? Money. Money. That's what they want. Okay, so think about the source that it's coming from. This is a commercial paid for by the company that makes this. Okay? Probably not the most reliable source. Just like if you're going to go back to that car example. Ford might come out and say they make the best car coming from a Ford commercial. But no. Ford would never pay for a commercial that says Chevy makes the best car. Yeah, yeah they right? do. Yeah, they do. They would not do that because then we would not buy their stuff. Let's take a look at evidence good, part D. Right? So this one is not a very reliable piece of information. Ooh. Take a look at D. Engineers at Product Testing Lab Incorporated <laughs> found that the edgy swivel Harnesses 4,000 joules in one day of typical use. If that's the rate, it would take the edgy swivel chair 20 days to charge one tablet. Product Testing Lab Incorporated is a company used by many businesses, schools, and government agencies to make decisions on what to buy. Do you trust Lab Test Product Testing Lab Incorporated? Yes. Yes. Why? Yes. Good. Her name sounds convincing. Her name might sound convincing. Why else? Edwin. Okay, they have way more information. Why would you trust Product Testing Lab Incorporated? Justin. Because they gave you actual facts. They gave you facts. They gave you data. And it's backed up and supported by businesses, schools, and government agencies. I can trust Product Lab Testing Incorporated or whatever it's called, right? I can trust them. So I trust the information that they're saying. So that's what we're going to go into today. Evaluating reliable sources. It doesn't matter if you believe it or not, but can you trust that source? Okay? Can you trust the source that it's coming from? Question. So you're going to go with a partner. And with your partner, you're going to come up here and grab one of these. It's an evidence gradient with the evidence card and the claim cards attached to it. What you need to do with your partner is go through all eight evidence cards. If you think that it's a good, reliable piece of information, it's going to go up here towards the top. If you think it is a weak, not reliable piece of information, it's going to go down here to the bottom. If you think it's more in the middle, put it right in the middle. Okay? So just read through them. If it's reliable and trustworthy, up top. If it's crap, put it down bottom. Make sense? Question. Go. Grab a partner, come up here and grab one of these things.
Mr. I'm Einstein. You're a hoe. <laughs> Not below the waist, sir. You piece of...